is this little fly you've brought to me, hmm? Found at the edge of our territory. I see. It looks like it can barely stand. So small and helpless. Hello, human. I am Kekria, queen of the spider folk. What is your name, little fly? And why were you found entering our lands? We spider folk have made it a point to live out of the way of the other races. Our caves are surrounded by swampland, nearly impassable for one such as yourself. Had my guard not found you first, you could have gotten stuck in the mire or bitten by one of the many venomous serpents that live here. So what was it that led you to brave such dangers? You come from the nearby village. Yes, I'm familiar with it. We try to keep tabs on the settlements close to our borders. But then why come here? Attacked? Such a small, out-of-the-way village? Attacked? Who would do such a thing? Knowles? This far out? Oh, horrible. Absolutely horrible. Oh, come here, poor little fly. There, there. You're safe here in my arms. Guard, get in contact with your scouts and inform me of the condition of the village. Oh, don't be absurd. This little fly is no danger to anyone. Why, it's even trembling. Now go. Shoo, we'll be fine here. Oh, just look at you. One of those nasty gnolls must have gotten a good swing at you. Don't worry, I can patch your arm up with a nice clean silk bandage. <laughs> well, of course it's my own silk. It's soft, clean, and strong. Perfect for wrapping wounds. Now, Hold out your arm. Oh, poor sweet little thing. I know you must be scared to death after what you've been through, but I need you to cooperate if I'm to help you. Hold out your arm, please. I won't bite. Now, doesn't that feel so much better? If we're lucky, you won't end up with so much as a scar. It would be a waste for such soft, smooth skin to be marred by such an awful incident. I'm afraid it will probably be a while before we hear back. You're welcome to stay with me as long as you need, and perhaps we could even help. Ah, guard. You're back already? Surely you haven't rendezvoused with the scouts already. Oh, they were already on their way here to report. So what happened? How bad is the damage? It's... no. Oh dear. Burned down. The whole village. This... Oh my... My poor dear little fly, come here. Shh, guard, please leave us. My poor little dear. You don't deserve this, I'm sure. Here, let me carry you to my web. Shh, don't struggle. Here. There we are. So much has happened, but you're safe here. If you need a shoulder to cry on, I'm right here. Oh, sweet little fly. I can't even imagine what must be going through your head. But please, 
Don't push away. This web is made for spider folk, not humans. It's not made for catching food either, so at least it's not sticky. But you'll probably just get tangled up in it if you try to move on your own. It's alright. You can just stay in my arms. I, I hope it's not too soon to say this, but there are practical matters to attend to here. Since you no longer have a home, I'd love for you to stay here with me. I was never able to have spiderlings of my own, so I'd love to have someone to dote on. And you've really awakened my maternal instincts, little fly. Don't you have anything to say to that? All you have to say is yes. I know you must be going through a lot right now, but I can't stand not knowing what you're thinking. Please, at least look me in the eye. Oh, what's this? I thought you were turning away from me to hide your tears, but this looks more like fear to me. Oh, poor little fly. You're safe here. Those cowardly gnolls may attack the odd village or two, but they would never assail the lair of the spider folk. You'll never, ever have to worry about them or any of the other awful creatures out there. Unless... Oh, you aren't afraid of me, are you? Oh, goodness, you are. Oh, but little fly, I'm the last person in the world you should be afraid of. I want to protect you, cherish you, care for you. What could have possibly made you so frightened of me? Well, hmm, you could call me half-spider, I suppose. It's not entirely true, though. We only call ourselves spider folk when speaking human language because it's the name you gave us. It's really more like, well, like we just happen to have some similar traits to spiders. And really, I think I'm more similar to you anyway. But is that all? I don't think that ought to be a reason to be so very frightened of me. It's not like I'm going to eat you. What's that? Oh, yes. I have been calling you little fly. But why does that... Oh, wait a moment. You actually were worried that I might eat you? Oh my, what a misunderstanding. No, dear, no, no, no. After all, spider folk don't eat flies. We're far too big. A fly to us is just someone who's helpless, like a fly in a web. We often call humans flies. We don't mean it as an insult, it's just you're all so much smaller and weaker than we are. Not to mention having only four limbs and no silk or venom. You're all so tiny and cute. I promise you, little fly, I won't eat you. We mostly just eat animals that live here in the swamp. Snakes, toads, turtles, the occasional alligator. We've even been known to eat mushrooms, although usually only in times of famine. No, I never even considered eating a human. I hope you're convinced. Good. Now that that's settled, what do you think of my offer? Oh, you mean it? You'll stay? Oh, you've made me so happy, little fly. 
I promise you, you'll love living here with me. Ah, uh, but I hope I'm not overstepping my bounds. I don't want you to think I'm trying to replace your old loved ones so soon after your loss. Hmm? Oh, that sound? It's a phrase in our native tongue. It means, well, basically it means sympathy for you, as in, I understand that you're suffering and my heart goes out to you. <laughs> that was a good try, but I think your human mouth will have trouble with spider folk language. It's more like You can practice later if you like. For now, I imagine you must be tired. Mm, as much as I'd love to just sleep with you in my arms, I'm worried about what would happen if I accidentally let go. You might roll all the way off. I must admit, I've been neglecting my web as of late. Oh, well, thank you. It certainly is much more elaborate and beautiful than an ordinary spider web, but usually a spider folk web looks even better. Some of them look like true works of art. Perhaps now that I have someone waiting here for me, I'll be motivated to make improvements. For now, ah, I know, I'll just roll you up in silk and stick you right here next to me. Don't worry, it'll be perfectly comfortable. No fussing now, let me just... And there. See, isn't that so soft and luxurious? Now get some rest. Do you mind if I kiss your forehead goodnight? Thank you, dear little fly. I'm sorry that something so horrible happened to you, but I'm glad that you found your way to me. Pleasant dream.